China reports no new cases of coronavirus in Hubei. But imported cases continue to rise China confirmed six new deaths and 46 additional cases of novel coronavirus as of the end of day Saturday, according to China's National Health Commission NHC. None of the latest cases were reported out of Hubei province, the epicenter of China's outbreak, making this the fourth straight day that the province has seen no new cases. Of the 46 new cases, 45 were imported, bringing the total number of imported cases to 314. The death toll in Hubei is now 3,144, and the nation's overall death toll stands at 3,261. In total, China has had 81,054 confirmed coronavirus cases, according to NHC. The NHC added that 72,244 patients in mainland China had recovered and been discharged from hospital. Cultural events are being cancelled amid the coronavirus. So what? Major events around the world have been cancelled or postponed as the race to contain the novel coronavirus continues. The cultural sector, with its numerous fairs, shows and festivals, has also been significantly impacted. What has been affected, countless art institutions, museums and galleries have been temporarily shuttered. The Louvre in Paris, which houses the famous Mona Lisa, is closed until further notice. A blockbuster exhibition marking the 500th anniversary of the death of Italian Renaissance painter Raphael was suspended days after opening in Rome. Organisers have pulled the plug on Glastonbury, the UK's largest music festival, which was celebrating its 50th anniversary. In New York, the lights are out on Broadway, with performances cancelled until mid-April. Fashion's biggest night, the Met Gala, has been postponed. Why this is a big deal, of course, such closures can seem immaterial compared to the public health crisis posed by COVID-19 and its rising death toll. People are getting sick, they are worrying about how to stay safe, access care, look after loved ones or stay in work. But culture, even during the most extraordinary of times, should not be overlooked. Rather, it should be embraced as means for respite, escape and nourishment. For a brief moment, you can lose yourself in the brush strokes of a centuries-old painting or feel completely immersed at a live concert. At a time when misinformation, polarization and blatant hate are particularly confounding, culture can be humanizing and educational. It's an alternative means by which to digest an increasingly complex and anxiety-fueled world. In the past week, global coronavirus cases nearly doubled. And there are now twice as many deaths more than 300,000 people are infected with coronavirus around the world, according to a tally by Johns Hopkins University JHU. That's a huge jump in the numbers. One week ago, JHU was reporting 156,396 confirmed cases. Meanwhile, the number of deaths from COVID-19 has more than doubled from one week ago, when there were 5,833 deaths. Today, there are nearly 13,000, according to JHU. Coronavirus is the most severe crisis since World War II, says Italian Prime Minister Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte announced that all non-essential factories must close as Italy faces the most severe crisis since World War II. That restriction applies to any factories not involved in producing food or medical equipment. Speaking via Facebook Live Saturday, Conte announced that the more severe measures are necessary due to the increasing number of coronavirus deaths. More than 47,000 people have been infected in Italy, and more than 4,000 people have died. Bolivians should be at home 24 hours a day, the country's interim president says Bolivia has announced a nationwide, 14-day, total quarantine, starting Sunday, according to Bolivian state media agency Abbey. The country's interim president, Janine Inez, said Bolivians should be at home 24 hours a day, and that only one person per family can leave at a time to go shopping. Public and private transport will be suspended. Still operating, pharmacies, hospitals, and health centers will remain open as normal, she said. Permits will be given to employees in sectors that remain open. Questions over election, on Saturday, the Bolivian Electoral Tribunal issued a notice on its website saying that the quarantine order impedes the body from carrying out preparatory activities ahead of May 3rd elections. The tribunal said that political groups and authorities should work together to decide on a new date that takes into account scientific evaluations based on serious estimates about the probably evolution of the pandemic. 
An interim government has ruled Bolivia since former President Evo Morales fled the country following allegations of fraud in an October vote that would have given him a fourth term in office. Morales has said he was the victim of a coup.